I'm Joe Barisi. I produce, record, and mix. Um, mostly hard rock, punk rock, heavier stuff. This is my studio, Joe's House of Compression. Some of the bands I've worked with, Queens of the Stone Age, Tool, Bad Religion, Ren Sevenfold, Chevelle, The Melvin, Slipknot, Soundgarden, Caius, Hole and L7, Betty Blowtorch, Farouk Assault. Too many bands to remember. I moved out to California many, many moons ago for an AES show. I came out to an AES show and I kicked on KNAC on the radio and they were playing Iron Maiden. And I thought, this is the town I need to live in. So right after Christmas, I got in the car and drove out. I basically freelance engineered because um, I didn't really want to assist in one studio. I wanted to learn different rooms and different consoles, which came to my benefit. I learned how to use an SSL, learned how to use a Neve. I worked on Tridents and older Neves and newer Neves, a lot of stuff. My roommate at the time worked at Sound City, and one day their tape machine died, and they needed a tape op, and I got a phone call um, from Paula Salvatore, who's now the manager of Capital. And um, I was a tape op at Sound City for a brief session, and then they hired me on, and I kind of freelance assisted there. So I came through the, the ranks of Sound City as an assistant and a house engineer, and um, then as a client for many, many years, till I got my own place. It's an environment where I can leave a guitar on the couch and tune it to some weird thing and somebody will come in and pick it up and start playing it and now you've created music and microphone is ready to roll and there's so many instances of that happening over the last 10 years. If I'm producing something, I'm recording it and nine out of 10 times I'm gonna mix it. So I'm recording it with the idea of this is final product and then mixing is just really kind of polishing it off. It's obvious when you tracked it, you know, where the bodies are buried. And, and honestly, when I get something to mix, I'm willing to take the chance to do what I want to do, because that's why you hired me. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, well, you know, I'm, I'm basically cooking you a steak. You know, you want it medium rare, great. Okay, you don't like it, I'll bring it back and I'll tweak it till you like it, because in the end, we're here to serve the artist. But if you're a vegetarian, then you shouldn't hire me to cook you a steak. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to be in that same frame of mind, but I'm not afraid to do some really weird stuff. Um, there's very, a few lessons that I've learned along the way. One of them is to always love what you do and to always give 100%. Whether you're getting paid a dollar or a million dollars, it doesn't matter. It, your, your hard work and your, your determination to do the same job um, doesn't go unnoticed. And those are really the people that are, are ahead of the game. Constant reading of books and manuals and magazines and watching videos like this and learning about plugins as well as outboard gear and things like that. So my words of wisdom are to educate yourself and to always give 100% of yourself to whatever you're doing. So I mainly work on analog gear, but in a hybrid world because I like the benefits of having Pro Tools as a DAW and a playback engine. Um, it allows me to use plugins as well as outboard gear. Sometimes the plug-in beats the outboard gear. Sometimes the ability to have multiple pieces of outboard gear in the form of a plug-in is a, a benefit. Sometimes having that kind of control where, you know, uh, back in the older days where we'd have to actually perform mixes, now I can automate EQs and compressors and do whatever I need in the box. So the, the combination of the two is really a, is a cool world to live in. You know, you collect things in life. Sometimes you collect pedals, sometimes you collect speakers, sometimes you collect everything, and that's Spice Girls dolls, whatever you got. If I had to start all over, would I invest in everything that I have? And, you know, my answer is probably not. I mean, you don't need to own a necessarily sound good. You just need to know the theories behind how to make stuff sound different. You don't need to own 1176 hardware to sound good. You can easily do that with an emulation of the 1176. But knowing not to use it on every single vocal track, otherwise you get a buildup of that same color, I think what's missing a lot of times is the theory behind it all and the education behind it all and, and actually the listening behind it all. Most people would rather sit in front of a screen and you know manipulate till the cows come home when really all it needed was to say, hey, can you move back six inches when you do this? and now you've got a double that's a different sound. One thing that I've tried to do my whole life is to not be like everybody else. So the one thing I will say about outboard gear is it's not exactly the same every time. So having that one special pedal that you've made and you've painted some awful color 
and somebody plugging into that pedal and it creating a sound that automatically identifies you and this unique pedal as a thing, as opposed to, hey, we need to get a guitar sound. Let me put this pedal plug in on you or let me put this compressor plug in on you. That just kind of makes you like the million other people out there. One of the, the things that a plug-in offers me, as opposed to outboard gear, is uh, easy recallability. The console itself is fairly easy to recall because I can take a snapshot of the whole desk, but I do have to write down my patch bay and where everything's going. So I tend to favor not moving many of the patches and rerouting stuff in the box. So I always know if it comes out of this output, it's gonna go through this piece of gear. Keeps life very interesting and very easy to mix that way. Plugins have come a long way and the ability to use multiple plugins and also chain plugins together. And some of the things that you can do with plugins is beyond anything you can do with outboard gear. So having some of the color of both sides is beneficial to mixing. Let this heart speak. Sleep, sweet Jesus. You're overwhelmed, burdens to be. Don't you work? In mysterious ways